Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing tourism in Thailand. And this topic has been in the news a lot lately, especially this so-called low season, which is what we oftentimes call usually the period following Songkran into the following high season, which depending on who you talk to, definitely starts sometime late October through November into January, February. But I would actually argue high season kind of starts sometime time in August, or at least it's almost like, it's like the preseason. But yeah, May and June especially for tourism related activities, it's kind of the doldrums for Thailand. But this low season has been particularly low. And I've read various articles on this topic, as well as glean some anecdotal evidence from people running businesses here in the kingdom, etc., especially businesses which cater to expats and tourists. And it's clear to me that yes, I think tourism just generally is on the decline. That being stated, the reason I made this video is I wanted to point out one thing that I don't think a lot of people are looking at with respect to the decline in tourism in Thailand. And that is, there's also been a major decline in what I would call pretensive tourists. So people that are pretending, for lack of a better term, to be tourists. At one time here in the kingdom, it was possible to maintain a long, long amount of status, lawful status, on 30-day stamps and tourist visas here in the kingdom. In fact, I know not a few people that managed to live for nearly decades, in, in one case, nearly a decade, in another case I know of, multiple decades, only on 30-day stamps and tourist visas. They never once fell, out, uh, fell into overstay. They maintained their status, but they were using 30-day stamps and tourist visas. The fact of the matter is, immigra and immigration has made this clear, their policy is tourist visas and 30-day stamps are intended for true tourists. If you're using them to live here in Thailand, that's no longer going to be acceptable. And we've seen multiple, multiple accounts of people trying to come into Thailand on their, you know, after multiple 30-day stamps, for example, and being rebuffed or even getting a tourist visa abroad and then not being admitted to the kingdom based on the notion that that individual is using a tourist visa in order to live here. The reason I bring this up is all of these folks in the past were tabulated as tourists. Now, in point of fact, most of them were, in those people's cases, were actually living here, but, but they were being tabulated as tourists. They were entering on tourist visas or they were entering on 30-day stamps. So I think it's safe to presume that at least some percentage of the recent decline in tourism is a result in the decline of people that were using tourist status in order to live in the kingdom. We hope you found this video insightful. For those of you who are interested, we're trying to make videos to provide up-to-date information as soon as this information comes out. And for that reason, it may be a good idea to go ahead and click the bell button, the bell icon below to go ahead and be updated as these videos come out, as you can go ahead and be apprised of the legal situation as it evolves.